Do you think you suck as a guitarist? Hello everyone and welcome to a new Talking Tuesday video. This time talking more about guitar stuff after I've uploaded a Belgian vlog together with Miss Red Hat and a short film together with Jennifer James. And this Talking Tuesday video will be all about cross guitar, a cross fit workout for your fingers to get a better playing technique on guitar in different subjects. I have uploaded a video where I have talked about my five biggest mistakes I have made as a guitar beginner. And during this video I have shown two exercises out of this book to you guys. And after this video a bunch of you approached me, messaged me and asked me <laughs> whether I can talk a bit more about this book since the exercises have been really interesting for them. And so I thought to myself, okay, why not? I will make a whole new video talking a bit about this book. It's written by Desart. Those of you who have watched some of my collaborations might have seen him on some of these videos. I've talked to him a lot concerning my guitar playing techniques and I struggle with some techniques and I cannot get better. And so he said, hey, I have released a new book, it's called Cross Guitar and there are some cool exercises for guitar beginners and advanced guitarists, maybe it can help you too. You know, he's a guitar teacher and he knows where his students struggle, so he has written this book with some finger exercises for guitar beginners and advanced guitarists that can help them to improve their skills like me. <laughs> and so I gave it a try. The book is in German, so I will just translate it in the meantime for you guys. We have here an introduction part where he talks a bit about essential techniques and stuff you need for practicing guitar. Then we have here style workouts, whether you want to play metal, rock, funk, blues or jazz, here are some specific workouts for these styles. And then it continues to improvisation and tech workouts like legato, arpeggios, hammer-ons, pull-offs and tapping. And it depends on what you want to focus, then you can kind of set up your own workout plan for your exercises or your practice time on guitar. And as I wanted to improve on stretching and in general playing more clean instead of the sloppiness, I have chosen to start from the beginning, like warm-ups to stretch your fingers. And these are so recommendable exercises, it's unbelievable. So we have some basic advanced and nerd workouts and I think the basic workouts are really fine for beginner guitarists and I will just focus on nerd workouts at the moment. I think the exercises are really diverse and they are many and you can also get a download link <laughs> for all the tracks that get along the exercises. I will quickly show you the exercises I've planned for you. This is Duck Walk 2 being the first one. Then we have the sweepy, but we will just play the first the two bars for it as a basic workout for you. Then we have here three notes per string alternative picking. This is also awesome. And the last exercise will be the duck walk string skip exercise. See you in a few. Before we start, I would recommend that you get yourself a guitar metronome app. I have it on my phone, it's called metronome beats and it looks like this. You have a panel where you can choose your beats per minute and you can alter it by just spinning the wheel and it has a maximum of 300 beats per minute so it's pretty useless when you want to set up a guitar <laughs> player record as the fastest player but I think for practicing it's really useful. Like I said it's called metronome beats it's the green app there and it's completely for free the only thing that's annoying are the ads that are showing there but it's always like this with free apps <laughs> yeah i will just suppose you get yourself a metronome or the metronome app and let's get started all right we will start now with the duck walk 2 exercise it's an easy exercise that involves all of the guitar strings and you play it with each of your four fingers of the left hand, starting at the first fret of every string, you play one with your index finger, two with your middle finger, three 
with your index finger and four with your pinky finger and you are moving onwards playing that on every string like one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And I set the metronome to 100 beats per minute. It's a speed that makes me feel comfortable while practicing. You can put it on a lower speed if this makes you feel uncomfortable. I will then decrease it to 80 beats per minute so that you can play along. This is a really basic exercise and will help you stretch your fingers within the lower frets. Now we come to one of my favorite exercises, it's the sweepy and it helps you to begin with a sweep picking technique and it's really easy too. Index finger, E string, first fret, middle finger, A string, second fret, ring finger, third fret, D string and pinky finger, G string, fourth fret and then you reverse it. Index finger, first fret, G string, middle finger, second fret, D string, ring finger, third fret, A string and pinky finger, fourth fret, E string. Let's start it right away with 80 beats per minute so that you can play along with me. There are some slight variations of this sweepy exercise, but I want to keep this video beginner focused. So if you want to see more advanced stuff, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will make a second part showing you more cross guitar exercises. Now we will start with the three notes per string alternative picking exercise. And I will show it to you. It's index finger, third fret E string, fifth fret with the middle finger and seventh fret with the pinky finger moving on like this for the a string and d string and then it's the fourth fret for the index finger the fifth fret for the middle finger and the seventh fret for the pinky finger and then it's on the b string fifth fret for the index finger sixth fret for the middle finger and 8th fret for the pinky finger and then it's 5, 7, 8 on the high E string. So like... And now we will play it together at 80 beats per minute. Now we will play this exercise together at 100 beats per minute. I have noticed I have used my <laughs> ring finger here on the upper strings and for me as I have really small hands it's a great 
exercise for stretching my fingers. So it's really basic, but it helps you to stretch your fingers and get smoother while playing solos. This is something I have observed. You can then do all of the exercises and increase the speed with the metronome once you have learned them by heart. But it's really basic and the purpose of these exercises is to get your fingers smoother and so you can practice this with increasing the tempo step by step. So the last exercise I will show to you in this video is the duck walk string skip exercise and it will help you to get a left right hand coordination and playing string skip riffs or licks without sounding that sloppy. And it's basically like the basic duck walk 2 exercise just with skipping one string at a time. So it's one, two, three, four on the E string. One, two, three, four on the D string. One, two, three, four on the A string. One, two, three, four on the G string. One, two, three, four on the D string. One, two, three, four on the B string. And one, two, three, four on the G string. And one, two, three, four on the E string. And let's practice this on 80 beats per minute together. And for me already my pinky finger is a bit <laughs> hurting as my hand is really small and I have to keep getting focused when I play stuff in the lower parts of the guitar. But this book already helped me to get my pinky finger working at all, so it's awesome. I think this book is written really well and in the ending he sums up one problem of most guitarists, including myself. In the beginning you think you want to reach everything at once, but there are so many things you have to work on that you have to focus on one at a time. Like your picking technique, your legato technique, rhythm technique and everything. And you shouldn't put yourself under pressure because this will keep you small as a guitar player. When you want too much in a too short time, your playing will get sloppy and this is not what you want to achieve. You want to sound like Guthrie Govan or Ingvi Malmsteen, Sinister Gates, but all of them have already a journey after them, practicing a lot, developing their own style, and you can just do that when you put enough work, effort, time and passion into it. And this is the message this book delivers to you, and I think this is pretty awesome. For those of you who are really interested to get this book right away, I have put an Amazon link in the description and in my pinned comment. Check it out if you like. Beware, it is in German. So if you're not speaking German, you might not understand that much. Also, let me know if you want to see more of these cross guitar workouts in a separate advanced video, if you've liked already the beginner video. Another awesome announcement I have to make is that I will have a guitar lesson workshop for you on the Guitar Nerd. As many of you complained that I am from Germany and not speaking German, I have come up with a cool solution. I will record workshops for you in English and in German so that you have two separate workshops and most of you can then understand what I explain about playing guitar. I think the workshop will launch in late March or early April, but I will keep you updated about it. 
this workshop will be released on the Guitar Nerd website and it will be my own Yassi Guitar Metal workshop for you guys. Stay tuned. On Patreon I have set up a poll where you can vote for your guitar cover wish. I will post each month four suggestions and the suggestion with the most votes will certainly be a guitar cover for the next month. And at the moment it seems like Wait and Bleed is winning. So if you want that one of the other three songs should be a guitar cover for the next month, head over to Patreon and place your vote. Everyone is allowed to vote that pledges just one dollar to my Patreon page. If this sounds awesome, head over to it. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this small video concerning the cross guitar workout book and I also hope some of your questions concerning it have been answered. The book is in German, that's the only disadvantage for all of you who just understand English. And yes, I just have shown some beginner exercises to you as I know many beginner guitarists are watching my channel, which is awesome. And if you're interested in more advanced stuff, be sure to put it in the comments below to let me know so that I can record a second part for cross guitar showing more advanced stuff to you. I can recommend this book to all of you who want to improve their technique. It grabs you by the hand and leads you through most of the techniques that are really useful when it comes to playing guitar and to find your own style. And it's really explained easily and there are many exercises that build up on each other so that you can make improvements with every step. So what do you think? of these exercises. Did they already help you or is it complete rubbish? Let me know. Otherwise I'm working on many guitar covers and I hope to upload them all soon enough. So stay tuned and rock on!